good afternoon black powder shooters and uh, thanks for taking a look at my latest video as you can see today I'm uh, reviewing a little bit bigger piece of metal than you're usually used to seeing me do I've done a, several black powder pistols up until this point but just got something new in and uh, really like it and wanted to share it with everyone uh, this is very familiar looking lever gun to many because it's probably one of the most popular lever action rifles in history. This is a Model 94 made by Uberti for Cimarron Arms. And this is chambered in 3855. As you can see, Cimarron always outdoes themselves with quality and beauty and aesthetics. Great looking rifle, great smooth action, everything that you can expect in, in a product from Uberti and Cimarron Firearms. As I said, this is a Model 94, never would I have dreamed when I was 12 years old and I bought my first Model 94 Winchester at Woolworths for $69, brand new, believe that or not. That was back in 1976, a few years, a few years ago. That was my first center fire hunting rifle, and gave me many years of uh, faithful service, deer hunting, uh, until it burned up in a house fire in the late 80s. Um, since then, I've not owned one. Uh, always wanted another one back, even though that's probably not my favorite lever action rifle. I think it's one of the best made. And uh, since they ceased in production a few years back, Uberti and Cimarron decided to team up and offer an original configuration of one of the most popular, if not the most popular, lever action rifles in history, uh, made by the millions. And I'm taking probably more deer and large game in the North American continent than any rifle uh, put together. Now, this particular configuration is made to the original specs, original uh, specs on the uh, steel receiver. Uh, even the rifling for the 3855 is made to the 1800 specs of 379 across the flats. So I have to do a little bit of reloading uh, to get this gun to shoot accurately. Uh, Model 94 was John Browning's epitome, I guess you would say, or capstone and traditional tubular fed lever action rifle design. Um, he had designed the Model 1892 and 1886 for Winchester. Uh, previously, Model 1892 was made to replace the traditional 1873, offer a stronger action in the same uh, calibers. Uh, one of the newer caliber offerings in the Model 92 was the 2520. All the rest of the calibers were pretty much standard to what was offered in the 1873. He expanded the action on that to make a bigger, heavier gun to handle 45 70s, 45 100s, and even 50 110s for big game. Um, the issue with that, that was a big old heavy rifle. And with the advent of smokeless powder and the newer cartridges coming out, uh, John Browning decided to design another rifle, more medium size and easier to carry, and that came in the uh, Model 94 Winchester. And now Model 94 Winchester was the first rifle to be designed to fire smokeless powder, but it didn't start out that way. Uh, like I said, John Browning redesigned this action. Uh, not enclosed like the 92 as you can see the drop down part of the bottom part of the action and he also redesigned the locking lug to be a one-piece lug uh, to make it a little bit more stronger uh, overall as far as the action was was concerned uh, they were designing this rifle specifically for smokeless powder however uh, during production they were having problems getting the nickel steel barrels to the point they wanted them at to be able to handle effectively the 30 Winchester centerfire cartridge that they've been working on, or the 3030 as many of us know it today. Uh, so in order to get money to, to continue to come in, 
with a new rifle design, they introduced it in the 3240 and the 3855, both black powder cartridges. And then we were still in the 1800s, and black powder was still a very viable and useful propellant. 3240 and the 3855 had earned uh, respect for their accuracy uh, in the uh, long range matches in New York at the Creedmoor matches. Both very uh, calibers had won many trophies uh, using single shot rifles like John Browning's design 1885 and other rifles like Ballard's and Remington's and, and things of that nature. So they designed this to hunt medium and bigger game. Uh, 38.55 is a very, especially with reloaded with uh, modern smokeless powder and even black powder, very capable of taking white tail, uh, mule deer, black bear, and even elk at the right ranges. So it's a very good cartridge if you uh, stay away from the more anemic um, factory loads and work up some good smokeless loads with a little bit more uh, power to them. Or the black powder loading in, the, in this rifle is very effective for whitetail, mule deer, and black bear. Uh, very, very, very confident in, in using this to take any of that type of game. Um, this, uh, as I said, this, this particular um, variation that's made by Cimarron has a 24 and a quarter inch barrel. Their standard is a 26. Uh, I got this through uh, Outdoor uh, Sports LLC in Muscatine, Iowa. Very nice people to do business with through Guns America. They offer a layaway program, which I use to get this gun. And uh, great great service and, and great people to do business with. So if you're looking for a this type of firearm, uh, they're a good go-to uh, through Guns America to go to. And like I said, they do offer a layaway program. We're going to go ahead and shoot this rifle here in the very uh, near future. I'm going to do a shooting video, and I'll be shooting black powder loads with it to show you how it shoots. But again... Uh, very beautiful recreation of John Browning's Model 1894 Winchester right down to the original sights. One thing um, that always bothered me with my Model 94 I bought back in the 70s, I loved the lever action rifle, I loved its handling to hunt in the, in the woods, but the ramp sight just was always something that was seemed out of place on a lever action rifle. So this, uh, this particular example offers the same style and profile as the original Lyman front and buckhorn rear sights that was offered on the original rifles back in the 1800s and early 1900s. So thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe. Hope to get a few more of these videos out very soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun shooting and keep your powder dry.